I got fascinated more from trying to understand how humans think, right? It's all got uh, kindled by the kind of uh, frenzy that was around the AI beating uh, human beings in chess back then. This was early early 90s is what I'm talking about. Right? Because of Vishwanath and Anand, right? So chess was a lot more popular in uh, uh, Tamil Nadu than elsewhere. So we used to follow what was happening and kind of all these uh, AI models were starting to beat humans in uh, chess. And so I started thinking about, okay, what are these models doing? The bigger fascination was these AI models were supposed to mimic how humans think. So I wanted to understand how these models work. I got a little disappointed because uh, AI by then, neural networks particularly, by then had become uh, a mathematical tool. And they had moved far away from their biological origins of uh, trying to explain how the brain functions and so on and so forth. Slowly I started reading up and started exploring stuff and then I came upon reinforcement learning. At that time people were doing experiments with monkeys, looking at how the neurotransmitters and signals were varying in the brain as the monkey is learning stuff. Right? And then they came up with reinforcement learning. They said, oh yeah, this field called reinforcement learning seems to explain what is happening in the monkey's head. And that kind of became a motivation for people to you know, look deeper into RL.